Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Gameplay. As you can see here, this is not a win or, you know, miss the playoffs game. But this is a win or don't get a first round bye game. And we definitely want a first round bye. So we're going to be trying to win this game out here. And, you know, if you don't get that first round bye, you got to put a wild card game in. It's like, even if you win the wild card game, they don't give you crap. They give you like 200 coins for winning the wild card game. No packs or no badge packs or anything. So, it's like, that game is so useless. You don't want to be in it. And um, early on, we didn't get out to a good start. This dude came out man to man. And we had Demarius Thomas, but I passed I passed with the hell out of that ball. Tom, I, I just passed with it. I expected to go a little bit up. We get a nice completion. And Tom Brady put that one way up there. And I'm not complaining about that. That's really good that Tom Brady can pass with a ball like that. But... I mean, damn, did I not expect that. I thought we could just put it over his user under the safety. Nice completion. And instead, um, the pass lead was crazy. If I just lobbed out, it probably would have been completed. But um, it was just one of those games where I had a really good game passing. But it was just whenever I made a bad read, I was I had to pay for it. You know, one of those games where Madden is not really on your side. One of those games where T.Y. Hilton is not forcing fumbles. So, I mean, I can't complain that Madden never gives me breaks. Because um, that was hell of a play but um this was not one of those games as you see um the mary thomas taking this little dump down route here but um yeah so in the game changer pack video i put up earlier today i actually acknowledged that we hit over a hundred thousand subscribers i know i didn't do it it's kind of weird that we did it like tuesday we got over a hundred thousand i didn't acknowledge it that was on purpose though that was just me like i was trying to let it sink in for a few days everybody was leaving comments on the video the past few videos saying congrats on hundred thousand. i didn't respond to one of those i'm, I'm a dick you know <laughs> not on purpose but i was a dick you know but um i just i just wanted to let it sink in for a few days i'm like I, I just wanted to you know let it process before i you know spoke about it or before i you know talked to people about it you know and after a few days yeah, nothing really happened you guys saw the game changer pack if you did you know i said that i don't really know what's going on you know Basically, I'm still, you know, it's just happening. All this stuff is happening so fast that, you know, me hitting 100,000, I don't know how to feel about it, you know? It's just, I'm, I'm just ready for the future, man. I'm ready to get more. I'm ready to, for us to continue to build this channel because what we're doing right now is so exciting. Just, you know, the support you guys have been giving me now more than ever has been, you know, terrific. And, you know, not a lot of people hit 100,000. Yet, I'm not really sure what it feels like right now, you know? Because I'm so focused on, you know, doing more that... It's like, you know, as he gets a fourth down conversion here, that kind of sucked, but, um, that's what happens when you send three people. He has time and one move. But, um, he also had a mod of green. Yeah, but he didn't have a crazy stack team, even though it looks like he might, but, um, he definitely had one of the best running backs in Mutt and a mod green, who was definitely playing, like, one of the best running backs in Mutt. But, um, yeah, you know, I mean... I'll, I'll respond to you guys' comments eventually. I'll go through a lot of them. And, like, people actually hit me up before I knew I had 100,000. Like, on Twitter, so a few people send me, like, pictures of how I had, like, a 100,009. I was not even home, I think, at the time. And I was just like, oh, cool. That's awesome, you know? It's really cool that, you know, there's people that are, you know, interested in letting me know before I even know, you know? And just, in general, to support you guys leave, everybody who leaves a like on the video and stuff like that, it's something I can never take for granted, you know? It's something I, I never can and never will, you know? Every comment and stuff like that, I, I know I can, you know? Because there's so many people that wish they could be in this position. And it, it's, a, it's a lot of hard work, man. It's a lot of... I mean, not a lot of hard work. I'm not grinding hours, you know? This is playing video games and editing. But at the same time, you know, the amount of time you put into it, it's work. Because you see, that was just stupid. On that play... I was like, damn, he he's, keeps on calling man-to-man. -man. This play is not really going to be man-to-man. -man. But I didn't feel like calling a timeout, so I just rolled with it, and it didn't work out at all. We ended up throwing a pick six there, so that was really stupid. But, um, yeah, you know, but that's the thing, man. Even though it's a lot of hard work, it's still a lot of fun, and I just have so much fun doing this, you know? And it's like, it makes all that work that I've put in just effortless in a way. If you can have this much fun doing something like this, you know, it's, it, I don't even care about the time it takes to edit a video. All the time it takes to make top 10 videos. Those fan top 10 plays of the week, those things take me hours to do, man. They take me like three hours sometimes to do, just to look through all the clips sent in every week. That's why I don't do them that frequently, is this dude gets a face catch in the end zone. I think this dude is a subscriber, by the way. If I remember correctly, this guy sent me a good game message after the game. He was a, a subscriber, but, um... He definitely just face caught me in the end zone there. Thankfully, he wasn't doing it all game. He just did it when he had to do it at the end of um the half, and it just ended up being completed. And this game is just freaking horrible. We are getting blown out right now. There's no way we're getting a first round bye, so we can kiss that goodbye. But, um, yeah, man, it's just, you know, having fun. Obviously, making money. I I've mentioned it before. I've never hidden from the fact that, you know, 
you make money from doing these YouTube videos, and that's obviously cool, as, you know, a teenager, well, not a teenager, I'm 20 now, I'm not a teenager anymore, but as, as a young adult, you know, getting any extra cash possible is really cool, but at the same time, I try not to make that the first thing, you know, obviously, you know, you try to make money, but... I try not to let that control my channel, because a lot of people do that. Once you start making a good amount of money, once you start being in a position like I am, where you have a ton of subs, you know, money can control you. Money can, can take control of anyone, and, you know, whether it's sponsorship deals or stuff like that, and whatever it may be, you don't want to be that guy that sells out, you know, that guy that, you know, well, trade up looks money hungry, and you can see it on his face. I, I try not to be that person. I hope I never am that person. I can't speak for Cookie Boy 17 three years from now or whatever it may be. But, I mean, I try not to be that person. I try to still be the same, kind of the same person I, I was from the start. You know, obviously, when you, you still try to improve and when you do make money, it changes your inside a little bit, man. Just a little bit. But I, I don't I don't want to, I don't want to let flip me, you know. So, hopefully, we can keep that going. I think that's, oddly enough, how you... You know, make the most success in YouTube. I, some people are like, hey, you know, I got to sell out. You know, sometimes people don't like a sell out, man. And I and just me, I don't, I don't think that's that's my personality, man. I kind of feel uncomfortable doing stuff like that. I just I just do this for fun. You know, I like doing commentaries. A lot of people who do this Madden stuff, they like playing Madden. They're not really into the commentaries. I like doing these commentaries, man. A lot of people do live comms nowadays. I don't really do that. I love getting into, you know, the epic moments. Like, right now, we're down 10, and we're trying to make something happen right now. Somehow, we have a chance in this game with all three timeouts to make something happen. I would crack the epic music if I wasn't still talking about 100,000 right now. Because we actually have a legit shot at this game. I don't know how. Well, actually, I know how. Because this dude, uh, he's a subscriber, but I gotta say, he wasn't that good at the game. He kept on calling two-man under. I was just playing really stupid in the first half. I shot myself in the foot. I put myself too far back. You see, um... I ended up throwing an incompletion. Demarius Thomas drops it there. And now when he comes down in zone, we're just ripping we're just ripping everything apart. We even try to take off at the pocket while I believe Brady there. You know, everything's just working for us right now. But um I believe I said everything I have to say. I mean if I got anything else to say, I'll say it in another video, man. But that's about it. That's about it. So just thank you guys and let's just keep it going, man. This is just so much fun. You know, just you know even playing subscriber, that's the last thing I wanted to say. Playing subscriber games, man. I've been doing that more than more than playing rank games, definitely. Like the ratio of playing rank games to subscriber games, I play like what twenty rank games this year. All the head to head games I put up nowadays are only um from unranked well you know um, with actual teams I should say. Those are subscriber games, man. I don't even care about playing rank games, man. I'd rather, you know, go on Twitter and ask people that they want to play subscriber games and stuff like that because you know, I just well, playing with you guys. If somebody wants to play a game with me, damn well they're gonna get a game with me. As you see, we got a shot. All right, let's let's stop this little hundred thousand celebration. All right, cause we got we got time to celebrate more subscriber goals in the future. With the way we're going, the way you guys are, are you know supporting us, you know we're definitely gonna be doing bigger things out here. But right now, I mean, the big thing is we were down seventeen in the fourth quarter and we have a chance to win this game. What in the bloody hell is going on right now? Travis Kelsey is getting the drag round going out of bounds. And with 13 seconds left and no timeouts, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to kick the field goal. We're going to overtime. I'm the away team. I'm getting the ball in overtime as long as I remember what's in the freaking coin toss. And we have a chance to win this game. Damn, man. I mean, we were down 17. That's the beauty of the four-minute quarters and month this year. Because it was only three. There was no way we'd come back in this game. But now, as time expires, we are heading into OT. We're going to get that ball first. And I'm ready, man. We have been ripping this dude's defense in the fourth quarter. He's going to continue coming out. And, man, when he flips it in zone, we're ready. And, I mean, let's do it. Now, even though we've been passing the ball well, I want to get the run game established in this overtime here. So, I hand the ball off to Charles. Probably should have bounced that outside. But, um... I don't know, it brings up a second down 10. After that happened, I'm like, you know what? Screw the run game. Let's come out passing. Let's do what we've been doing. Didn't work too well. He had Kelsey locked up. I forgot to put Reese on the um, slant route. And then third down to nine, I put Matt Forte in a slant route. And I throw an interception. I made, I had one read on that play, man. It was really stupid. I had Demarius Thomas on the other slant there. If I just checked Demarius, I could have just thrown it to him. But I was set on throwing it to Forte. And, of course, just like all four bad reads I made in this game, they were picked off. It's unfortunate the way that works sometimes. But, oh, well, it's Madden. In the end of the day, you get pissed off. You're pissed off like five minutes after the game or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's Madden. I take it for what it is. It's a game, you know. So, um, good game to my opponent. You know, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Madden 15. And um, thank you guys again. I can say thank you all I want, but it never actually establishes how thankful I am. So, I just want you guys to know that I'm really thankful, all right? I just want you guys to know that, you know... 
I like I said before, I'll, I'll never take you guys' support for granted. Never, ever. And on that note, I'll catch you guys next time.